Hi everyone, this is Tanner here, and I just saw the Home Alone reboot, Home Sweet Home Alone. Now, like many of you, I saw the trailer, I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, I heard the reviews were bad, and this movie is not good. It's great. Yes, I like this movie. Genuinely liked it. I think this is genuinely a great film. So what's it about? You might be saying, well, it's just a remake of Home Alone. Well... Not necessarily. It is very different. So, the um, kind of IMDb synopsis is, a married couple tries to steal back a valuable item from a troublesome kid who is home alone. That's kind of what it, it's about. So, the first film, you know, the first Home Alone is about Kevin McAllister fending off those two robbers. You know, he befriends an old man. It's a very nice movie. And I do think the first one is better, by the way. But... This film is a bit different. One thing I really like is the robbers, a.k.a. the married couple, are really great. The wife, uh, name, her name is Pam. She's played by Ellie Kemper. Uh, you know, Ellie Kemper was in The Office as Aaron. I liked her in The Office, and I really like her in this movie. I think she really delivers the comedics, the more emotional moments. She has all the range in it. I was very surprised about how great her character was. She's kind of lead. Her husband... In the movie's name is Jeff. He's played by Rob Delaney. He's been in some of the projects. I like him. He's funny. He's definitely charismatic. And there's a lot of reasons I like this movie. I think the first one is that this robber couple are really great characters. You care about them. They're funny. They're compassionate. You understand their motivation. And I thought, you know, Ellie Kemper and Rob Delaney did a really great job with these roles. They are kind of the heart and emotion of this movie, which I really do like that. You know, it's very different from the first film. Yeah, the robbers in the first film are cool. They're iconic, but I really like the characters of the robbers in this film. It's definitely a different take, and I think it panned out really well. The emotion in this movie that I got from watching at the end, I love the ending to this movie. It really pays off. So I think that overall, the robbers, they're great. The character of Max the Kid is good. Archie Yates, the actor, does a good job what he's given. I think the writing for him could have been a bit stronger. I definitely think you say, okay, Kevin or Max. I think Kevin's way better than the original. I'm not just saying that because of nostalgia. I think Kevin Mc McAllister in the first one's way more realized. I do think Max is a fine character. I will say this for negatives. There's this whole thing about Max. You know, he gets left home alone. His family, they're shown in the first half. And I thought they had some good comedic delivery. I'm like, okay, this is nice. But then the film's like, uh, yeah, you're not going to see them hardly again. There's a whole kind of dynamic with the son and the mom and the mom's trying to you know come back to get the son i just don't think that was done really well uh i'm probably gonna mispronounce this but Alison bay she plays the mom i did not find her acting particularly well she seems very flat and she seems like she's just kind of reading lines she does a good job reading them i would like to see them more go in a modi into the character so that whole family aspect I don't think it's done that great, but the film really focuses on these robber couple, and I really like the way the story is portrayed. I also like the way the film feels. The first Home Alone is very cozy, this grand scale. This film is a bit more sleek and clean. The colors are very vibrant. It has this kind of new, fresh vibe to it, and I really like that. It's definitely a different tone, and that's something that's really great to it as well. Also, the implementing of technology. This is modern day, so iPhones are a thing. And instead of just being like, oh, we have iPhones, they actually use them in part of the traps. I like the way technology was used. That really surprised me. This film, I think, is also made really well. I really like the soundtrack. They bring back some original songs, but I like the new ones in there. Uh, I think the editing is great. There's some really cool visual sequences that are like, oh, that's really neat. And I think also that the way some exposition is said it was really creative this film definitely feels very creative and goes in some different directions than the first one and it takes those new directions really well in my opinion this film also calls back to the original in great ways that were nice to see they're not heavy-handed but it's nice to see what they have and i thought that was cool actually there's some neat moments i'm like oh that was actually neat so i do think this is a great movie i do have some issues with it the first one is that Comedy is very subjective. I do think that there's some good comedy in this, but a lot of times is that the comedy, it almost feels like a sitcom. Like someone will say a line and then they wait for applause. And the dialogue feels very like, oh, this is funny, right? 
And then it goes on. It has that little pause in it. I think what makes this movie funny for me was the way that the cast takes the lines. They kind of emo um, it. And it doesn't seem too over the top. I really like the way it went. The dialogue, though, I think with a much worse cast, could have been really bad. But I think the cast does a really great job elevating the script in terms of dialogue. I think the setup and the narrative is great. But the jokes, some of them just didn't land. Another thing is the first Home Alone movie is better because I think it flows better. This movie sometimes stops to a halt, and sometimes it seems like we have to have this sequence. Like, when the robbers break in, there were some cool traps for sure, but I felt like sometimes it was very like, oh, go and stop, have this happen, go and stop. And sometimes that breaks the flow of a movie for me. However, though, Home Sweet Home Alone kept me intrigued, and I really enjoyed the movie. I think the cast is very entertaining. They do a great job. There's an emotional story intact. And I think the film technically is well made. It takes the original Home Alone, a film I really like, and takes it in a new direction. I think the first film is better, but I don't think this film is bad. I think it's actually pretty great. And I feel like it's a film that has a lot of unique ideas that are fleshed out pretty well. I think that this movie does at times seem a bit rushed. I think a couple more days revisiting the script at points could have made a stronger film. But overall, I think it's a worthy inclusion in the Home Alone franchise. Overall, I'm going to give Home Sweet Home Alone an 8 out of 10. Let me all think in the comments below. And tell everyone, this is Montana. Take care and bye-bye.